XML. It's basically a groovy um, representation of the XML that you've probably come to know over the years. So here we see you have beans, thinking about this as a top level element in your XML configuration file. And we can also import namespaces, so schemas, just like you would in XML. And here we're saying we want to use the XML namespace util from using this URL. And then we see we can actually reference that just like in, uh, in XML, so util.list, and then providing an, an ID, and uh, basically using this, this list element from the util namespace. And in terms of um, individual beans, each bean is just a method with uh, the name of the method being the, the ID or name of the bean and the type there in parentheses. So this is creating a person object. And then uh, a very simplified way here of setting the properties. So this is like uh, the name property, age property, props here. So this would be a job util properties object. You can just define inline here quite conveniently with Groovy. And you also have support here for things like arrays and lists and maps just like you would normally in Groovy. So much more concise. Um, than what you'd have in XML, and if you're going with Groovy for your application, it's nice that you can now configure your application with Groovy as well. Has anyone seen this before? A few people? Okay. Conditional beans. <clears throat> so who's heard of um, profiles, big definition profiles? Who's actually used, used them in application? Okay, so bean definition profile is a, a way to say, I have a collection of beans, kind of like a logical grouping, and I want these beans to be used when I deploy to uh, the staging server, and I want these beans to be used when I deploy to production. Oftentimes you use that for things like deciding which data source to use. Do you want to talk to the test database or talk to the, the live production database? And in the past, that was only possible um, with profiles, so the at profile annotation. And for 4.0, uh, we came up with a new approach to that, um, to having conditional beans. This is a new generalized model for conditional bean definitions, and it's more flexible and more dynamic than what we had before with profiles.